I've opened up our frame by frame video in here. Let's go ahead and play this again. It plays the video just like we did on the other video window, but in this case it's actually playing up through these frames, up through the layers, as you can see there. There we go. Let's go back to the beginning again. In here we have our standard controls. We can choose how many times the video repeats right down here. Once, goes through three times, goes through forever, or you can choose to have a specific number of play times right there. Of course, our back one frame forward, one frame, and play options in here. This button allows us to create what's called a tween. We actually can tween between positions in an animation frame or between settings. We can make a new frame here and get rid of frames as well. This button here will actually convert this frame by frame animation into a timeline animation. So you can go back and forth a little bit on these things if you need to do different or you want to use different tools with your animation. Now on the pop out menu in here, notice new delete and frame and delete animation similar as we had down on the bottom left hand corner there. We can copy and paste frames. You can select all the frames. We can go to specific frames in here. We'll be looking at tweening in just a little bit. We can reverse the order of our frames, optimize the animation, make sure it's smooth. We can flatten the frames down into layers, and we can match layer across frames. We can create a new layer for each new frame if we're adding in frames. Here's that convert to timeline again, and of course some panel options just to change the look of the panel. We're using this setting in here. Let's see what we can do now with this frame by frame or kind of animation. The first thing I want to show you is that the last frame is the top frame up here. If I put in another frame, I can put in a standard Photoshop frame up here. And let's do the same trick we did on the last video. Next, I'm going to fill this frame. Let's just fill that with a gradient. And since our gradient is solid, of course, it's hiding all of our frames down below. Let's grab our marquee tool and I'll come in here and just create a marquee just like that. Hit the delete key and cut that section out of that frame. And then let's just deselect that. So we've now made a little frame in there. If I play the video, notice how it plays in behind. So just like in the other animation style, if you make a layer above your animation, the animation still plays in behind that layer. Okay, let's go ahead and just go back to the beginning on this one. Let's put a style on this like we did before. Let's just do a bevel and emboss, and I'll use the default settings. Just giving us a little bit of a picture frame effect on that. We can put in a text layer as well. Let's do something just a little bit differently. I'm going to click on this top frame. Let's open up the video on a layer frame. I'm going to float this. And I'll grab this text layer, and I'm just going to drag and drop that over here just like that. Let's just lock this back up to the top. There we are. So you can copy layers between documents in the same way. And we can place text right on top of the video as we did in the previous example. Click the play button. That works as well. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, Click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.